Fans celebrate New Jeans Hanny Act, proposal to combat workplace harassment. On November 26, South Korean media outlet Women's Newspaper reported that Rep. Jong Hai Gyeong of the Progressive Party proposed the New Jeans Hanny Act, a partial amendment to the Labor Standards Act. The proposed amendment aims to protect artists like New Jeans member Hanny and workers on special employment platforms from workplace bullying. This initiative was introduced during a press conference at the National Assembly Communication Center. Fans of New Jeans have shown strong support for the proposal of the New Jeans Hanny Act. They quickly reacted online, celebrating the proposal. One fan wrote, Hanny and New Jeans members are changing the K-pop industry. This is how you fight against injustice. It starts by having the courage to speak up. I hope New Jeans Hanny Act will get passed soon so artists and trainees can be protected from scumbags who fill this industry. This girl is changing everything I love her, and will support her everywhere she goes from now on. Mind you in the middle of a smear campaign by brain-dead fandoms, she still did that. People forget what that much hate can do to someone's mental health. Thank you, Hanny. Let's put away the Stan Wars for a second, and appreciate the only good thing to come out of this insane crazy hot mess. Idols are people too. This is huge I hope it passes man so many artists would be protected, because of it ESP in light of everything that's happening to Mad and Gay and this is a game changer. Fans have praised Hanny of New Jeans for her courage in speaking out about her experiences. Many are hopeful that the law will be passed, believing it will lead to meaningful change and provide stronger protection for vulnerable workers throughout South Korea. Some fans laugh at her for speaking up, but now, see the result of her bravery? If this bill is approved, even your faves can benefit from it. This is what changing the idol industry means. Now, say thank you to Hanny. Now this is how you make history and make a change. Proud of Hanny and the girls for their bravery these past months. It takes incredible courage to stand up to conglomerates and fight for justice. They're cementing their legacy as true change makers. My girls, making history. Hanny will go down in history as the one who actually changed the K-pop industry. Representative. Jong proposes amendment to protect artists and non-traditional workers from workplace bullying after Hanny's testimony. Representative. Jong emphasized that no one should be subjected to bullying regardless of income or employment status. She stated, regardless of whether the income is high or low, or whether the relationship is EMP low emant or contractual, no one who works show ULD be bullied by their superiors or others at work. The amendment seeks to address the gap in the current law, which only protects workers in traditional employer-employee relationships. The proposal was prompted by a recent case involving New Jeans member Hanny who had testified at the National Assembly Audit and Inspection of the Environment and Labor Committee about experiencing workplace bullying. However, the Ministry of Employment and Labor ruled on November 20 that Hanny was not eligible for protection, as she is not classified as a worker under the current law. Representative Jong Ji highlighted that many workers, especially in special employment relationships, are left unprotected under the current legal framework. Not only Hanny of new genes, but many people who are still working are not protected by law. This is because the current law only prohibits workplace bullying in the relationship between employers and employees, she added. The proposed amendment includes provisions to protect labor providers and artists. It also requires businesses to take measures in cases of harassment by third parties. The amendment introduces penalties for perpetrators and employers who fail to take appropriate action against workplace bullying and harassment. This change aims to extend legal protection to a wider range of workers, and ensure a safer working environment for all. What are your thoughts on this?